the keys to open your defender's door. Uh, this is important for position and acceleration off the blocks. We're gonna swim and swing our free hand through. That gives us a burst of speed, that gives us momentum. Think of a sprinter sprinting out of the blocks, pumping their arms. It also gives us position on a defender. If you can swim that inside hand through and get that inside position over your defender's hand check arm as they try to impede your path to the basket, that really gives you a huge advantage on the rest of your drive. Let's check out NBA player James Harden. The whole team trying to stop in the minute. He gets that space Harden that he wants. He's going to attack you and finish. See how they're guarding James all the way out by the three-point line. So he just goes ahead and drives past, and Vucevic gets called for the foul. But Trevor's trying to guard James right here, and James just too quick to get by him. And is Larry Nance Jr. trying to slow down that one. And look at it. One of my favorite drills to really build this habit is to use a tennis ball, and we catch it on the first bounce. So we got to wait for that tennis ball to, to descend. And then we're working on that action. We're working on swinging that inside arm through to get us momentum and a burst of speed. And working on target practice because we got to be precise to catch that tennis ball just like we would need to be in the game to gain that inside position as we swim our hand over the defender's hand-checking hand. It's just a great drill. You can add any type of dribble move to it to work on that game-like timing, that game-like swim through, and again, that momentum, that burst of speed, which are all keys to opening your defender's door.